Good morning, guys. I just woke up. I'm out here still in San Diego. So beautiful this morning. And this morning, I'm going to be getting ready for a fun project that I'm working on, but I can't tell you what the project is yet. But be patient, and I will, I will let you know. But I figured I would take you along with me for kind of like a get ready with me type of situation. You know, this is the before. I curled my hair yesterday. But we're gonna do like my makeup and like get ready together. I'm gonna like touch up my hair. And all I'm gonna say is there will not be a Dyson air wrap involved. You know, your girl, your girl is still rocking with like that 2014 Con Air purple wand. I, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. You know exactly which one. Yep, that one. So let's get ready together and I'll take you along. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm just gonna do my makeup, show you the products I use. And again, just wanna say, I am not good at makeup. So feel free to watch, feel free to see what I do for my like natural routine. See if you like it. I'll show you the products that I live by, but take everything I say with makeup advice with like a grain of salt because I know, I know I'm not that good. <laughs> So I'm gonna take you through my natural makeup look and I'm not very good at makeup like I said but this is something like a routine that I found that kind of works for me and my skin type you guys know I don't have like the clearest like smoothest skin so this is just something that I feel like works for me without being too heavy. So I'm gonna like take you through all the setups and show you the products I use. And I'm gonna show you like little things that have helped me. But I started out by washing my like beauty blender and getting it wet. And then I just took a paper towel and like squeezed out all the extra moisture. So it's kind of damp right now, but I feel like it helps kind of give me like a more glowy look because I've tried like using just, just a brush and I feel like it's not, it's not as glowy. And some people like a more like matte look instead of glowy. But I don't have like oily skin, so I don't mind it. But I would say if you want like a more matte look, go with just the brush. This brush is number 70 from Sephora. My favorite, favorite, favorite brush. I was looking for this brush for so long. And it was sold out forever. And then I finally picked it up over the holiday season. Okay, so I have everything I use. It's all right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys everything though as I pull them up, but I usually, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I usually start with concealer. I don't know if that's right. I have a mirror right here, so I'll be like doing it in the mirror. So I use the NARS Creamy Concealer and I have two shades. I have 2.4 and then I also have 2.8. So this is 2.8 and the 2.8 is like a little bit this is the Nars Creamy Concealer. The 2.8 is a little bit more tan and I did get a spray tan while I've been out here. So I'm gonna probably use more of the 2.8 today. But I don't know, I just kinda, I seriously don't know what I'm doing. I think, I don't know. I, I've watched some TikToks and this seems to be what people do. And I just do it on areas that like move a lot on my skin. So like my mouth area, I always do like a good amount on my mouth area. And this is the 2.8 right now. Usually I would use the 2.4 because it's like lighter. And I feel like I've heard that <laughs> concealer should be lighter. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the 2.4 as well. And I don't wear foundation. I feel like it's a little bit too heavy for me for like an everyday look. So I just use concealer and I probably use like way more concealer than I should. I probably should just like use foundation at this point, but oh well. Okay, so I'll show you kind of like what I did. We might have to go in here. Mm, I seriously, I don't, I look, it looks like war paint right now. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, so I just put 2.8 under here, out here, around my mouth. And then I took the lighter one and I put it on the bridge of my nose, 
this like t-zone type of area and then on the sides of my nose and then i'm going to use this brush just to blend everything out first so this brush i got at sephora i like it because it's like so flat like it's very nice i feel like i should be better about washing my brushes i will wash like my beauty blender thing every now and then and the water is just like literally brown when it comes out of the beauty blender okay and then i also had like a couple little i sh like i just showed you guys my skin texture but i had a couple little darker spots like little acne spots so i also like added a little dab of concealer on top of those as well and i go over my eye i don't know if you're supposed to do that but i feel like i feel like it helps everything stay <laughs> i seriously i'm like you guys probably like anyone who actually does makeup is probably watching this right now and they're probably like this is the worst makeup tutorial i've ever seen but like i said i'm just showing you what works for me i'm just showing you what works for me okay and then i always kind of like i don't know kind of like push everything instead of like pushing it down i like to like push it like kind of like up you know what i mean so like when there was stuff under here and up here i kind of like bring it up instead of just like rubbing it in i don't know this has worked for me though so i know you're watching this and you're probably like girl this makeup tutorial is busted but i promise you we're gonna look really good at the end okay and like i said like this is just like supposed to be like a natural look i never really do like my equivalent of doing like a glam would be wearing eyeshadow like it has to be like a special occasion for me to wear eyeshadow okay so everything's pretty much blended in right now and sometimes at the end i go in and add a little bit more concealer if like if i need to but seriously the nars creamy concealer you know it's not it's not a drugstore product so it's a little bit more expensive i think it's like 30 dollars, but i don't wear makeup that often so one of these literally lasts me like four or five months and 100 percent worth it you know i used to wear drugstore makeup you know the like the drugstore brands i don't even cover girl i don't know neutrogena stuff like that um i used to wear those and i feel like they worked and they like covered everything well but they didn't last me all day and the nars yeah it's more expensive but 100 percent worth it especially for my like i feel like for college girls like if you're going to like a bar or like a frat party and you might be like getting sweaty or sticky like the shit does not budge okay so after that i take this and this is my holy grail if there was one product i had to recommend as someone who doesn't do any makeup it would be the charlotte tilbury contour wand i have shade dark i think no yeah medium deep i have shade medium deep so this is the charlotte tilbury contour wand is it in focus i don't know basically if you're watching this and you're like, Steph, this makeup routine looks awfully familiar. You caught me. I did simply buy everything that Madison Beer told us to buy in her Vogue video. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I remember after that video dropped being like, I need it all. I need it all. And then I went to the store. This was sold out everywhere. Like internationally you couldn't get it online you couldn't get it in stores in any country because madison beer sold it out with her vogue video i hope she got like commission on that i wonder if she did but i went down to houston texas and visited my big from college her name's england and she was getting ready and we were going out and she starts you know dapping and i look over i'm like what is that and she's like the charlotte tilbury contour wand and i'm like how'd you get that and she's like i bought all of them from my town's local sephora and she opens up her drawer and she literally had like five of them that were unopened and i was like you are what's wrong with the world you are the reason that everything was sold out but anyways she let me buy one of them off of her <laughs> she was like literally like literally had a drawer of them so i bought one of them and this is the same one and that was back in july again i don't wear makeup that often if you can get your hands on this it'll last you a long time 100 percent worth it and i actually when they got back in stock like a month ago i just bought two more haven't opened them yet but they're sitting in my drawer waiting for me if i need them but long story short 
you need this. Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I use shade medium deep. For this contour wand, you kind of like twist it to open it. It's like a bingo dabber. If you ever went as a kid and played bingo and you had like those spongy like dabbers and like, you know, like when you're playing bingo and you know, it's like, you know, bingo, you know, basically same concept with this. Mine, again, I've had this one for so long and I don't have one of my new ones with me, but there's like, you just kind of like op twist it to open it and then you put it on. So I'm going to put it on. I'll show you where I put it. And again, it's probably, I'm probably putting it in all the wrong spots, but this works for me. This works for me. Hey. Also, it just started to get like juicy, juicy because I just like twisted it to open it and it takes a couple dabs to like, you know, get, get flowing. I read that if you have a long face instead, which I def I have like a longer face, instead of going like at an angle with your contour, you just should go like straight across. And I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's what I do and I like it for myself. Okay, so I usually, and then I twist it closed. I usually start out with this and then I use my wet beauty blender. It's, it's moist. If that word bothers you, I'm sorry. I like to use this because this is liquid and I'm talking way too much for the fact of how fast it like sinks into your skin. But um, I like the moist beauty blender because it, it helps prevent it from like really like sticking and leaving those like dot circles on your skin. So then I just blend it out. I will say if you have blonde hair, be careful because if you like blend it into your hair, it will like stain your hair. It comes out if you wash your hair, but like it'll stain your hair. And then I always like to like really bring it close to my ear because I, I you don't want that, you know, you don't want it to look like you have like a line separating your face from everything. Okay. If your beauty blender is too wet though, I've noticed that it kind of like over blends it and like it kind of like fades a lot. But I feel like my beauty blender was a little bit too wet today. So I'm going to go back in and add a couple more dabs. Also, I use these clips to like keep hair on my face, but I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more in here and on like my forehead. I just went back in a little bit, nothing crazy. And then I just kind of dab it all out. I feel like the, the to this contour wand, yeah, it's like contour wand, but for me, I use it more like a bronzing stick. It definitely helps, because I don't use, I don't use any, you'll see, I don't use any powdered makeup anymore. Uh, because as someone with a lot of skin texture, powdered makeup sits in places that I don't want it to sit in, you know? So I use only liquid makeup now and I feel like it's made such a big difference. And I feel like when I'm out in sunlight, it doesn't, obviously it looks like you have makeup on, but it doesn't look like you have makeup on. You'll, you'll never get like that cakey look, which I used to get when I was using like powdered makeup. But I think a lot of that's because of my skin texture. If you have like beautiful smooth skin, like it's probably, you can probably use powdered makeup and like it's fine. But for me, the liquid makeup has been my holy grail because like no matter like how HD you're in, it doesn't look like dusty, it does, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I just did that. And then, you know, sometimes I do this, I don't do this every time, but I'll do it today. I'll take the contour wand and go down the sides of my nose. And I feel like the contour wand is not as precise as something should be if you're trying to like line the side of your nose but I still do it sometimes so I'll do it today and like show you like what I do so I just did this and I have just two lines and then I kind of like to bring it up into like my eye socket if that makes sense and I always always remember to close this if you use it because shit will explode and then I take the wet beauty blender again and instead of like rubbing it down, I kind of just like dab it in so that it keeps that like contoured look. And then I like to take a little bit of my lighter concealer. So this is NARS 2.4. 
and then I just do the line down my nose one more time. And I have, you know, I keep mentioning this, but I feel like it's important because I used to watch so many like makeup tutorials when I was growing up and like everyone had the most like beautiful clear skin ever. And I have like pores and everything and like blackheads and stuff on my nose. And I feel like this will, obviously you can still see them, but the liquid makeup helps so much. <laughs> Okay, and then, so I already did the concealer and like the, um, the, the, the contour wand, and I used this brush for the concealer. I like to kind of go over everything with this brush now, because I just went over, or with this beauty blender, I went over the outsides of my face because I did the contour wand with this, but I like to go over everything just because it kind of like makes everything a little more dewy. So I go over like my eyes and everything. And I don't wear foundation, but if I did, I would recommend like, you know, pulling everything down onto your neck. But I don't wear foundation. I feel like foundation was just like too much for me, like too cakey on me because of my skin texture. And I'm also just, I just like don't really care. Like I, I don't wear makeup. I very much embrace the fact that I don't have perfect skin. I probably wear makeup once a week maybe twice if it's like a busy content week or something okay so we're done here make sure it's closed so we're done with the so i these i just have two of the same shade and then one of the darker shade of the creamy concealer and then the contour wand i okay no shade here no shade i tried the blush version of the contour wand i don't know what it's called but it's like the pink one and I didn't love it that much. Instead, my favorite, favorite blush ever, Rare Beauty. It's by Selena Gomez. This stuff is fantastic, but it's like super, super pigmented. So I'll show you what I mean. It's like a really uh, liquid, like it's like a gooey like liquid. And if you're not careful with it, you can really make a mess. And one of my friends I was just with, uh, she was like, how does your, doesn't your blush like leak out everywhere? And I'm like, that sounds very possible because this is a like dark, messy liquid. But here's what I do. So I take it and I seriously scrape off everything. Like I leave like pretty much like nothing on there. And then... I literally do this much, this, the smallest amount because it's so pigmented. Sometimes I use the Beauty Blender, but I think we use this today just because. And then I like to kind of bring it up, like almost to like the sides of my eye, like up this way. I feel like I am, I'm like doing a Vogue video right now. <laughs> okay. So this blush is so pigmented. I, again, like I don't, I don't know the pricing on that Rare Beauty. I'll like add it to this video or whatever. But it's, it'll last you forever. I'm not kidding. I've had this probably for at least six months now, and I have not even made a dent. And again, I always bring it like up like, all the way to my hairline and up into my temple area. Okay, and then some people, you know, they add a little bit of blush to like their nose or whatever, and I feel like that's cute. And I think Madison Beer did that in her video. I'm not kidding. I ha I knew nothing about makeup. I watched that tutorial, and I was like, fine, I'll buy every single product. And all I'm gonna say is, I still don't look like her. Anyways, I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. I just I'm gonna add a tiny bit to the tip of my nose. Seriously, world's smallest amount. This shit is so pigmented. Like, you do not need much. And I love liquid blush too because it it blends so well. It just literally looks like a little sunburn. I feel like you look like you have like a cute little sunburn. You know? So I seriously, I bring it all the way up into my hairline. 
Okay. So, you know, my cheeks are looking rosy right now. I feel like this has been a long makeup tutorial for the fact that we've only made it through three products, but there's only four products or five products total. The next thing we're going to do, mascara. I have always used this mascara, Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Is it in focus? I don't know. I've always used this and mine recently ran out and I was feeling bold so I tried a new one. I tried this one by Milk Makeup. It's like the Cali Kush or whatever. Kush, I don't know, Kush mascara. I don't know. Um, but I personally like mascara brushes that are thick. Like that looks like it would be such a good mascara, right? If you're thinking about, if you use Better Than Sex and you are a Better Than Sex stan, don't do it. I bought this low-key. I hate it. It doesn't add any volume to my lashes. It's a thick brush. I thought I would like it, but I don't like it. So we're sticking with the Better Than Sex Too Faced. Perfect. I ended up just getting a new one. It sucks because like this mascara is $25 and that's like a lot for a tube of mascara in my opinion. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But... I don't, I don't use it often, so it lasts me a pretty long time, but I'm just going to go in with this. I usually do one coat, then my eyebrows, then another coat. Sometimes I curl my eyelashes, but I didn't do that today. Now it's too late, and I kind of wish I did do it, but oh well. I will say one thing about the Better Than Sex mascara is that, especially because this one's so new, it is like messy. Like it's messy. I feel like I need to be able to like, I feel like I need a Q-tip afterwards to like clean everything up. I don't, I've been using Better Than Sex for so long, so I don't know if like, a, like all the other mascaras do this too, but I feel like this one's messy, but it gives me the volume I want. Okay, so this is after one coat. And she's a little messy, but I'll clean her up afterwards. Just to just to refresh you, so far all we've done is the concealer, the contour wand, and the liquid blush. And then we just did mascara. And then the last thing I do, besides like like lip stuff, but I have that, the last thing I do for my everyday makeup kind of look. I say everyday makeup, but if I go out to a bar, this is all I wear too. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't do anything more. Um, so I used to use the Anastasia Brow Freeze, the brow gel, and I honestly hated it because it, it would, get, and it was probably like maybe user error, but it would, it would get like these white crumbs in my eyebrow. And if you've used the Anastasia Brow Gel, you know what I'm talking about, like. If you put it in there, it would get like these white dusty crumbs because it's a gel and the gel would harden and then it didn't, when it was hardened, it wasn't clear anymore. And so my eyebrows always looked like I had like white stuff in them. I don't know. So I've recently switched over and I'm using this now. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, literally hair gel. What did I drop? The mascara brush that I need. Okay. It's so unsanitary, it's just on the floor. So I recently switched over. Someone on the Beam Athlete Retreat told me this. I can't remember if it was Nora or Tamara, but they told me that they use this on their eyebrows and I got it, haven't looked back since. So this is the got to be glued gel, like spiking styling glue. And you can get it in a big thing, but I got the little travel size and this has been plenty for me. And then I saved a mascara brush from an old 
tube of mascara I had and washed it and cleaned it off and now this is my eyebrow brush. So what I do is I kind of just get the um, like the, the, the gel here to the top but I don't like get a lot out. I just get it to the top so that my brush can rub it against it and then I get like the like the smallest little amount just like this much and then I go up with my brows. I'm having a bad eyebrow today. I don't, hold on. Things are not going well. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. I think I fucked up. Uh, but the problem is that this stuff does dry so fast and your, your brows will be locked in place. So I had the flu a few months ago. Okay, I'm having a bad brow today. I had the flu a few months ago. If you're like Steph, that looks the same. Yes, it does because I just brushed it back down because I was getting overwhelmed. I had the flu a few months ago and on day one of the flu, I like, I had makeup on and I remember I took my like, met, like, uh, like uh, concealer and everything off, but my brow gel was still on. I was in bed for five days straight, didn't go anywhere, didn't shower. I know it's gross, but I literally had the flu. And I woke up on day five and my eyebrows were still standing because of this stuff. So I swear it's good. I just like literally just fucked up. That's the thing. I'm like user error. These products are all pro This shit is locked in place. I cannot even move it. Oh God. <laughs> it's stuck like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the other brow and hopefully this one goes a little better. Use a little less glue this one. You know, I'm just having it. We're having a bad eyebrow day. It's okay. Everything's fine. So this, I just did them. Like, I feel like this one's a little more fluffy. It's okay. Sometimes if I'm having like an actually bad, bad eyebrow day, I'll take a like a liquid eyeliner pen, not like the brush type, but like a pen, the pen type in that, like a brown shade and just like kind of like draw in some like wispies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so again, you, all we've done so far is this is a long ass video for the fact that we've literally just used these. And then the last thing I do is lips and I don't like this gloss, but the thing I, the thing I usually like is a lip liner and it's by Charlotte Tilbury and I lost mine. I think I might've just left it at home because I'm in San Diego right now, but I like the shade Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury and she has the shade in like lip gloss, a lip, like a chapstick type of situation and a lip liner. And I'm sure she probably has lipstick too, but the shade Pillow Talk, chef's kiss. It's so good. It makes, it's just like a neutral, it's nothing crazy. I'll put it on and show you, but this is, I'll show you. It just comes in like this cute little bottle like this. It's a CT. And the shade is Pillow Talk. And so this is the gloss. I don't usually use the gloss like this. I prefer like to do the lip liner and the the little the chapstick, like tinted. It's like a tinted chapstick situation, but it's, it looks really nice. But just so I can show you the color, I'll put this on for you. It's literally just like lip color. It just makes everything... I have no experience with lip liner, but I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner and it's fantastic. If you, obviously everyone has like different color lips, but if you have like a similar like skin tone to me or like lip color to me, the Pillow Talk is super, super flattering. Okay, okay. That is it. I mean, thanks for joining me with this little get ready. And here's the situation. I have never been good at makeup and I could never find a tutorial that was like basic enough for me to want to follow. 
because there were too many products and they were too expensive and it was just too much. So if you're looking for like a nice like look that makes you look put together without breaking the bank, I think that you can probably get literally every product I used. Got them all. Got it. <laughs> I think you can literally get like every product that I use. Just all of these. That's literally all I use. This was like four dollars. I don't know. This is probably like fifteen. I don't. I, I'm just making shit up right now. Twenty five. That's like a. I know that's twenty five. I think thirty. Maybe. That's it. That's it for today's, you know, get ready with me. And maybe I'll like throw something on my like Instagram one day and like ask for like makeup tips and then we'll refilm this with like some help. But I'm gonna show you the final look in some good natural lighting. Wait, I just did my makeup, but I still have to like deal with my hair situation. So I curled it yesterday. Oh God. I curled it yesterday. And then, cause I only do like the wash dry style situation once a week. And so I curled it yesterday, and then I slept with it in a messy bun like an idiot. And, oh, I forgot I still have this clip in. Okay. So I don't, I haven't even like really taken it out of the messy bun to see what's going on here. But she, she needs some help. She needs some help. And like I said, I do not have, I was looking around for it. I do not have the Dyson Airwrap. I don't, we do not live that lifestyle around here you know <laughs> i've literally had this since i was probably like 14 so you know she lasts forever but it's fucking dangerous or maybe i'm just like maybe i'm just dangerous because i have so many burn marks on my body this is a whole burn mark this is a whole burn mark from this curler we're pretty much heated up here on this wand I'm kind of far from the outlet, but basically I'm not gonna redo everything cause it's like good enough, but I'm just gonna redo a couple pieces and show you how I do it. But I'm just gonna grab this piece for an example and I just bring it around, you know, like super basic. Like this is nothing, this is nothing earth shattering. Okay, so I just kind of like touched everything up and like nothing crazy, nothing super different but I just like touched up a bunch of pieces so that it looks a little bit more put together and I definitely shouldn't have slept in a messy bun last night, but I'm gonna go show you, you know, the final look in some more better natural lighting. Okay, so this is the final look for today and you know, it's nothing crazy, but it's enough for me to feel good and confident and know that like my acne scars aren't gonna be showing or anything like that. And so this is just a really, really easy beginner friendly makeup tutorial that, oh my God. I thought that seagull was coming for me. Anyways, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get ready, you know, finish getting ready like outfit wise for the little project I'm working on. And I'll show you guys, but today I'm just, the only outfits, outfits, I'm wearing are bikinis and they're all from Kulani Ski. <laughs> 